Hi, it's Elaine with simply-healthy.com and Happy New Year. Well, I am sure that you have some audacious goals surrounding your health this year. But maybe you're having some troubles really getting into high gear. Maybe it's the weather, who knows. But perhaps you're going about things the wrong way. I know at the beginning of the year, it's kind of been ingrained in us to want to kick things off and get everything going, get our ducks in a row in all the different areas of our life. But I want you to consider something. This is winter. We're in the dead of winter. And that means winter season is naturally a time for rest, reflection, and building. And as, as inhabitants of this environment, in order to be in harmony with it and to be in balance, we should adapt the same types of principles. So I propose that instead of chasing the latest diet trend or trying to do everything perfectly right away, let's consider three ways to really thrive in this winter. Number one is to eat seasonal foods. These foods are designed to nourish your body with exactly what you need this time of year. And when you do that, when you add in those good nutritional those good seasonal foods, you will naturally crowd out the bad stuff, such as too much sugar, too much salt, and you will be hydrated from within. Number two is to introduce gentle exercise. So if you're already exercising five to six times a week, wonderful. I would encourage you to include or to substitute a couple of those days with more gentle exercising in the form of things like yoga, Pilates, working on the uh, exercise ball, things of that nature. If you would like to start an exercise campaign, that's wonderful too. Instead of going it at five to six times a week full force, I'd, I'd like to encourage you also to go more gentle with it, okay? Still do your intense, but make sure you get your gentle exercise in at the same time. What that's going to do is to help you be more consistent and help you go longer with your your goals and your intentions. Number three is to embrace the season. Embrace this time of rest and connecting and building. In this way, you're not being lazy. You're not going to be behind the eight ball. What will happen is that you will be able to go step by step to the spring when that is a time of rebuilding, of growth, and newness. If you think about when we see the green, the buds budding out in the spring and all the green, what's been happening in the winter is a lot of building and growth happening underneath the soil. And that's what's happening with you, within you in the winter when you're in balance, when you're operating in harmony. There's a lot of stuff going on in your body, your mind, and your spirit when you actually take a step back for that resting, connecting, and building. So I encourage you to operate this way. But I do have a free gift for you. You may be wondering, what are the seasonal foods? How can I include them into my own kitchen area? I have a kitchen staples list specifically for the winter that you can download absolutely free with the link below. So go ahead and grab that. And by the way, if you'd like to work with me one-on-one -on -one in my six-month coaching program, I do have spots available. All you have to do is go to simply-healthy.com slash healthy-coaching. Thank you, and I hope you have a wonderful day.